You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, NBC Peacock Soap Opera fans. It's Soap Dirt on YouTube. We have got your two-week spoilers from Monday, May 8th, running all the way through Friday, May 19th. There is a lot of action coming. That's the third week of May sweeps. So much to see, so much to watch, and we're going to unpack it all for you now in this edition of Daily Spoilers for the next two weeks. If you haven't already, reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of of our updates on Days of Our Lives for casting news, spoilers, everything you need to know. We're going to do a quick rundown on week one spoilers by date, and then the week two spoilers, we don't have dates for them, but we have context and analysis and a lot for you. Monday, May 8th, Days of Our Lives, Nicole is completely stunned when Kayla again tells her she's pregnant. Of course, we heard that on Friday. It repeats again on Monday. That's what the official NBC Soap spoiler says. She is completely reeling. Each it looks like heads to the hospital and tells Nicole that he knows she cheated with Eric. Of course, Eric tried to call her on Friday to warn her, but when EJ heard from Gabby that Nicole's in the hospital, he rushes off there. The good news is, is it seems like he's going to be pretty cool with it. Of course, that's pretty cool with it not knowing she's pregnant. That pregnancy tidbit could change his reaction in a big way. Also on Monday, Gabby and Stefan get busy plotting against EJ and Nicole and Kate Roberts' captive is revealed. And you remember she said, oh, it's you. And it's a bad guy from Days of Our Lives, Beyond Salem, Chapter 2. So much to unpack. We'll talk about that more in our Days of Our Lives comings and goings post. So watch for that coming over the weekend. Tuesday, May 9th on Days of Our Lives, Trip asks Wendy to stay in Seattle with him. He's out there watching his brother Joey, who has a broken leg, and he wants Wendy to stay. Meanwhile, back in Salem, Johnny tells Chanel that he thinks Wendy is is definitely going to stick with Trip instead of him. Plus, Colin Peterson, Sloan Peterson's devious brother, is happy that his girlfriend Talia is getting closer to Chanel. Of course, it seems like he's just using this poor girl to get revenge. Colin also decides it's time for him to get busy on Paulina while Talia is messing with Chanel. Meanwhile, Jada gets some interesting info from Xandra Cook. Remember, her sister just told lies about those keys, and now she's going to hear from Xander that this guy was going into a room at the Salem Inn, or whatever, I guess it's not the Salem Inn, it's the ratty downgrade. It's whatever Salem Hotel flea bag they're staying in, that he saw her sister in in there and now there's this British guy so it's very strange. Wednesday May 10th on Days of Our Lives Jada finds Colin and starts grilling him about Talia thanks to what she heard from Xander. Plus, Nicole turns to Anna Demera. She needs to talk about this surprise pregnancy to someone, and that someone is Anna. Also, Talia keeps trying to let Chanel think that she's into her, even though she is not, and she doesn't like this revenge plan anymore. That same day, Paulina slings some fresh new accusation about Sloane Peterson, who again defends her innocence, and that's because she is innocent. It's not her doing this. It's her brother. And she doesn't seem to know about it, but we'll know for certain next week. Thursday, May 11th on Days of Our Lives, Stefan and Gabby keep toying with EJ. And Talia confesses a little something to her big sister. It seems unlikely that she's going to come completely clean about what she's been doing with her boyfriend, but maybe she will give her a little bit of truth to try and get her to back off. Plus, Eric overhears Nicole talking to someone at the hospital on the phone, and he's worried about her. And of course, she's probably not ready to tell either of the possible baby daddies that she's pregnant. That same day, Sloane finds Colin and confronts him about these revenge games that he's playing. And of course, she's collateral damage because she looks like the prime suspect, but he just took her client to task to defend her the other day. So it seems like he definitely is trying to protect his sister. Friday, May 12th on Days of Our Lives, it's Deidre Hall's 500th anniversary, 500th episode anniversary, not her 5,000th anniversary. It should be 5,000 years old plus. Um, It's her 500th episode, and John Black takes Marlena out for a special night as we get a look back at all her five decades on the NBC soap. Roman is comforted by Maggie while he's worried about Kate and Bo. If you didn't know it, Bo is gone. He is in a coma 
there's not going to be any more scenes with him if you did not know that that was goodbye. Well, it was. And we're going to talk some more about this in our Days of Our Lives Comings and Goings video this week. We're going to find out that Steve, Chad, and Harris Michaels are searching for Kate still, and they get some location info that they're going to follow up on. Plus, Alex brings Stephanie with him to meet Yuri. He's a potential Titan client, played by Josh Flagg from the reality show Million Dollar Listing. Now, in the second week, which runs the 15th through the 19th of May on Days of Our Lives, we are going to see Stephanie desperately trying to save Alex's job. It looks like perhaps that he messes up this deal with real estate investor Yuri, and the May sweep spoilers say that Maggie Horton fires Alex. So it's not sure at this point, based on this spoiler, if Maggie's fired her and Stephanie's trying to get her to back off or Stephanie is trying to keep her from firing him. Either way, we do know from official NBC spoilers for sweeps that Maggie does indeed fire Alex. And we have to wonder, does that mean that she is going to rehire Xander, right? Since she's getting rid of him. We'll have to see. Also, Steve Johnson needs someone to come to his aid, and that someone is Harris Michaels, which is pretty ironic because Steve did not want Harris on this rescue mission looking for Kate, but Chad encouraged him. They were reminded that he is a Navy SEAL, and despite his sketchy background while he was under mind control, he is a force to be reckoned with. So it looks like Steve might wind up happy that Harris is along after all if he saves his bacon. We're also going to see Sloan opening up to Eric about her brother Colin. We're having to wonder now if she is going to tell Eric, my brother's in town and he is the reason things are happening to Chanel and Paulina, or if she's going to tell him, oh, my brother is in town and I'm worried that he might want revenge. How much is she going to tell Eric? She and Eric just decided to pursue a real relationship, so certainly she could come clean to him, but the question is, will she or will she keep trying to shield her bad brother? Finally, our last two-week spoilers for Days of Our Lives includes a note about Abe Carver standing by Rafe Hernandez. Now, Rafe was hopped up on those biscuits, and he kind of aggressively aggressively kissed Jada Hunter, who works for him, violating the policy. So we have to wonder if that's what Abe is standing behind him about. Did Melinda Trask hear about this from Sloan? Did someone else? Because remember, Sloan witnessed it and it made her very uncomfortable and she offered to report him. So maybe she did. If you haven't already, reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Days of Our Lives spoilers and updates for your favorite NBC soap opera. There's so much to see the two weeks from May 8th through May 19th as we are in the second and third full weeks of May sweeps and there's a lot of action happening so you don't want to miss any episodes of Days of Our Lives. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio and more.